Let's go. go.
So I'm more, what? You have to aim it four more strikers. Why? Well, he's going to need at least eight to hold that exhaust. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So I'm working on Jackson's pump. It'll be the Yamaha pump from the GP1200R to the mini jet intake. The drive shaft was shortened, so I'm just getting a measurement here. The way Jamie has it set up is pretty much you cut it right here for this piece to get welded on. So I'm just verifying the measurements. I had the pump mounted to the pump plate, which has a little spacer in there to simulate the transom bolted to the intake. So the first mark I have here is where the drive shaft poked out of the intake. The second mark here is after this piece with all the pieces assembled slides on over. So that distance there is the difference between the two, which corresponds to the distance of that. So that is just a double check. I will get this piece cut off and then I will be able to slide everything together. The pump will go in that piece will now go all the way onto the drive shaft and right here we'll get a weld here. So we got that piece tacked together after sliding it on. Um, it's pretty easy because the the pump itself is the drive shaft stiff inside the impeller. Everything is self aligning so it was very easy to find exactly where this needed to be. All right, we got uh, all the stringers tacked, not completely welded in all the boats. It's kind of a chore. But things are coming along pretty good. All three boats have all the stringers in it. Now we're just doing uh, a windshield. Some final fitment. Can you say hi to the viewers? Hey viewers. Hi. Let's go. Let's go.